Now the next presentation is by Mr. Samir Savarkar on remote medical diet. Uh, a very good evening to all of you. I am uh, Sameer, uh, co-founder uh, of Neurosynaptic Communications. We work uh, to enable access to quality and affordable healthcare to the rural population. Uh, as uh, we all know, 70% of the population in India, which is rural, uh, residing in 638,000 uh, villages, uh, has very poor quality uh, uh, healthcare available or whenever it is available and otherwise completely inaccessible uh, to such an extent that when they can, uh, when they are even able to afford it, uh, they have to pay 50% uh, more for the same health uh, or healthcare uh, that you and I pay in the cities. Uh, now, uh, we started uh, looking at this problem quite some time ago and very quickly realized that technology is the only way to bridge this gap of access uh, for the rural population uh, simply because we have seen so many uh, attempts of uh, uh, so many failed attempts of taking doctors to the rural areas to provide the necessary healthcare and uh, so essentially uh, using technology and uh, under medicalization is the only way that we believe this could be achieved. Uh, we had several technological and uh, uh, process innovations uh, in our journey. We initially started with a complete technology focus where we said technology would solve the problem. Uh, uh, realized along the way that it's not only technology but it's also process innovations and delivery mechanisms that come into play in a very severe way and uh, eventually created a solution which is called Remedy Remote Medical Diagnostics. This is a solution that actually provides uh, a lot of point of care diagnostics to the villagers very close to the place of their residence plus uh, integrates the whole fragmented ecosystem that is uh, currently in the state it is to provide a seamless healthcare access throughout from the primary, secondary uh, right up to the tertiary level and all of that at uh, something like a 50 rupees cost of access for that quality and uh, qualified healthcare near the village. So uh, what we have is a, a product called Remedy which is completely indigenously developed with the support from Technology Development Board and uh, Department of Science and Technology. We have three patents, uh, international patents on the technology that we have developed as well as the solution that we have developed. Uh, it completely integrates the uh, right from the mobile village health provider to the uh, formal providers, to the diagnostic centers, to the um, uh, physicians, qualified physicians who are available, to the shops, medicine shops that are uh, also replenished with medicines, to the uh, place where qualified doctors keep on providing consultations remotely and the entire delivery system operates on the basis of remedy. We have created over the last, uh, from 2008 since we started scaling, we have created uh, a reasonably good impact with uh, uh, reach of about 45 uh, million population in the 35 districts uh, uh, that we reach today. Uh, we reach uh, these places with about 9,000 village health workers and about 850 uh, telemedicine centers in uh, uh, mostly in Bihar and UP where there is a very uh, large need. And we have done more than 200,000 paid consultations in the last uh, uh, in 2011 and 12. And uh, uh, each of this, uh, each of this access to healthcare for a villager has saved six to seven dollars for the villager uh, uh, per uh, illness episode. And so uh, our journey continues. Of course, we look forward to catering to 25 percent of the rural population's healthcare needs uh, or access in the next uh, uh, four to five years uh, with uh, all the partners that we have on the ground. Thank you so much. Again, very briefly in a minute to give Juri's impression. Juri was very impressed with this uh, work because this is again a great challenge. As you said, 70% population in rural areas. 
And I think our challenge is, India's biggest challenge is one, numbers, and two, distances. We are large numbers and we are large distances. And when you want to deal with that and that too affordably, technology is the only solution. There is no other solution. And therefore, we applaud you for what you have been uh, able to achieve. Affordable healthcare, I think, is not only something that uh, India is concerned about, but the whole world is concerned about. You go to Australia, they are concerned about it. You go to US, they are concerned about it. 40% of GDP, you know, Obamacare and the rest of it. I mean, the whole world is concerned about it and we have to do it in our own way. So, what we also appreciated was that you are understood the special Indian needs. You are also understood the special, uh, let's say, sociological issues that are connected with India, the way uh, sort of people behave, the, uh, you know, and their attitudes toward treatments and solutions and so on. And therefore the system that you are incorporating, you know, which makes sure that systems are locked in by which uh, you cannot do things which you should not be doing. That's very important in India, some or the other. If there is a way to get around or do something, Indians will do it. Always. So how do you sort of ensure that? So there are wonderful elements. And also the recognition that it's not just technological innovation, but system delivery innovation, workflow innovation, uh, you know, and I'm sure business model innovation that you have incorporated. So it's a combination of uh, all these. So would really like to applaud you for this wonderful work. Ashit, can you join us for the